Hey, good morning, kids. Welcome to Children's Church. We're so glad you joined us today. Let me tell you, today's Children's Church is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna go back and remember and celebrate all that we've learned in these last few weeks, okay? So let's have a good time. We're gonna play some games and do some fun worship. And at the end of Children's Church, we're gonna show you a video on BGMC. This has been Missions Week all week, right? So we're gonna talk about BGMC at the end. So stay with us, let's have a great time. Hey kids, it's game time. Can I get an amen? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a scavenger hunt. We're gonna give you guys some clues and you have to go find the items in your house. Now remember the rules. You can't go tearing stuff up. You can't attack your mom or your siblings, okay? You gotta be nice and you gotta be clean. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the first clue. What you need to go find is a horse. Okay, it can be any type of horse. It can be a real horse. It can be a stuffed horse. Now go! I'm just gonna dance here while we wait, okay? This is my favorite move, all right? All right, so what do you think we're looking for a horse for? It has to do with some of our old lessons, okay? So we gotta think about it. What have we learned about that had a horse in the story, okay? Oh! I found a horse! Damn it, great job! That was a great horse! Okay, now what lesson was the horse from? That's right, it was from when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a horse. Isn't that awesome? Good job, kids. Okay, here's the second thing you need to go find. It's a Bible. Go, go, go! See, I really love horses. I think we get along great. Look at this gallop. Isn't it a great gallop? Like, we're pretty, we're best buds. Okay, so what do you think the Bible is for? It could literally be for anything. We talk about the Bible every week. Whoa! There's a Bible right here! Look! It's the good news! We learned about it on Easter when Jesus came and died for us and rose again. This is the best news we can ever have. All right. For the third item, you need to go find a heart. Okay, how are you gonna find a heart? It can be a stuffed heart once again, or you can make a heart. I'm gonna make a heart. You guys need to go find one, okay? Here's a piece of paper. This is some pretty fancy crafty work, okay? You're gonna fold it in half like this. Do it fast, because we're on a time limit, okay? Here's half the piece of paper. You're gonna cut it like this. Son Elizabeth, that's not a heart. What are you doing? I know, wait for it, wait for it, it gets better. Oh, I'm gonna curve it around, I'm gonna curve it around. Don't need those anymore. Look at that beautiful, that's <laughs> not a beautiful heart, but I did my best, and that's what matters, okay? Liz, Liz, I found a heart. Lydia. Okay, this heart is much better. I like this one, thank you, Lydia. So what is the heart from? That was when we were talking about Nicodemus and how much love uh, we have. Okay, that's a great job. Okay, the next, the next thing you need to go find, but this time you're not gonna find it. You're gonna hug somebody. Go give somebody some hugs. I need a hug. Miss Anya, ah! I love hugs. She's my mom, so I can hug her, okay? And that was when we were talking about when Jesus had compassion and he fed the 5,000. We just showed some great compassion by giving some people some hugs. I hope you guys gave some great hugs. But here we go. The next clue that we have for you, you need to go find some water, okay? Any type of water. Find a bottle of water. Find a glass of water. Go, 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 go! I hope you guys are running because I would be running too right now, but I'm just standing right here waiting for other people to run for me. Okay, so what lesson did we learn about water in? Do you guys remember Ms. that? Miss Elizabeth, I found water. You did find water. Give it to me. Woo! Oh, that is some refreshing water. Let me just get a sip. That is some good water. Okay, so what was the water from? That was from when Peter walked on the water and Jesus walked out to them. Do you guys remember that story? That was an awesome story about faith. Okay, next one. We only have a couple items left. I hope you guys are still running. If you need to, take a stretch break. All right, here we go. The next one is you need to go find a blindfold, okay? Any type of blindfold. You guys are doing great, keep it up. I'm kind of scared for this one. I don't like the 
dark. I don't want to be blindfolded, but here we are waiting to be blindfolded. So go run and get it. Think about what lesson this could be from. Amanda, whoa. <laughs> Look at this, okay, ready? Hold it down. Ah, oh wait, I forgot I don't like the dark. Man, that was scary. Okay, what was the blindfold from? That's right, it was from when Jesus healed the blind man. You guys remember that? They put one on their eyes and he was healed. That's so cool. Okay, it's the last item on your list. One of the most important items right now. You need to go find some toilet paper. Run, run, because there's not a lot left. So you need to go find some, okay? Go get the toilet paper. I'm so nervous. Okay, I hope you guys found some. Let's go. toilet paper. Oh my goodness, I've missed you so much. Welcome back, toilet paper. This is from last week when we talked about Lazarus and Jesus called him forth. Remember that? He was dead, but then Jesus raised him from the dead. How awesome is that? All right, guys, I think we did a great job. We found all these items. I know you guys did amazing. Go ahead and leave it in the comments if you guys found all the items, all right? Thanks for playing our game today, guys. You did great. Hey, kids, awesome job on the game. Now stand to your feet and worship with us. The Bible says that Jesus wants to be with me. The Bible says he cares when I am blue.
lessons from the last few weeks. And we're calling this game Zonk. Everybody say it with me. Zonk. Zonk. Okay. What? That's right. Zonk. Crazy. So we have two teams to help us with this game. First of all, it's the Kaylin team. Can Woo! Now this you 
give the, a letter, which letter you think it is, okay? Or you can write the number in, or write the word in. Who is the main character in the big story? Is it David? That means in the Bible, right? Esther? God? Or Noah? Who is the main character in the big story? That's our Bible lesson, the Word of God. Who's the big, the main character? David, Esther, God, or Noah? Now that's Noah in the Bible, not Noah Brad. Okay? All right. I miss go. Noah Brad. <laughs> yes. All right. Are you ready? The answer is Noah. See, Noah. God. God. Oh, we Noah. tell many stories, but the main character is God. Who got it right? All right. They Woo redeem themselves. Woo! Who's the but play? Noah had a big boat. Had the a big, big story is about the big boat. Yeah. Well, His but the whole so story because. Uh, a lot of different mm, lessons and oh. true stories. Yeah. Oh, and I thought you were going to say socks. Say with me. Socks. Oh. Okay. Next one. Here we go. Are you ready for the next story? Here or the next question? I like this one. <laughs> Compassion. Now listen. This is important. Compassion is simply feeling bad about something without acting on it. True or false? Compassion is simply feeling bad but not doing anything about it. Hmm. True or false? You could even do a T or an F. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Compassion is simply feeling bad about something without acting on it. True or false? What's the answer? False. 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 No. The feeling of compassion makes it act. Oh no! So it you can't just make feel it. bad. Why? No, you can't just feel Why? bad. What does that do? If you just feel bad, does that help anything? Oh. When Jesus had compassion on the five thousand, what did he do? He fed them. Right. Oh, he did who gets sorry? Everybody say, "Yeah." Zonk! Here comes the zonk. Okay. Yeah. okay. Here comes the zonk. Yeah. okay. And ready. Let's try the next question. Are we keeping track? We're probably, <laughs> we're probably winning. We're probably winning. Right. Ready? Next question. Next question. We were Next question. Oh, listen carefully. Why did Jesus feed 5,000 people? A, he had compassion for them. B, he cared about their physical and spiritual needs. C, listen to them all yet. Yeah, listen to them all. He wanted to show God's power. Or D, all of the above. All of the above. He had compassion. A, B, he cared about their physical and spiritual needs. C, he wanted to show God's power. Or D, all of the above. Which is the answer? Is she cheating? She's not cheating. Are you, Are you going sure? to sleep? I'm making sure she's not cheating. Oh, okay, she's not. She's not yeah, sleeping. I got my eye on her cloud. All right, you guys ready for the answer? Drum roll in. What's the answer? Q. Q. D. D. Q. Q. He was bored. There's not a Q. Sometimes I Q. get bored. There's not even a Q. It's all of the above. He was God. bored. Okay. I thought we no. were like, all between the lines. He, yeah. cared. No. he cared about them. He wanted to meet their needs. And he wanted to show his power, right? Did you get it right? You got it right. Oh, yeah, you can't. Everybody say it. I can't uh, hear you. Is that oh. 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 oh, no. Okay. Maybe you guys should take notes on how to yeah. win. Like us. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're still winning. Next yeah. question. <laughs> Ready? Why did Peter, now remember this is Peter walked on the water. Why did Peter start to sink when he walked out on the water toward Jesus? A, because he had eaten rocks for lunch. Ugh. B, because he started to doubt Jesus. C, because he was afraid. Or D, because a whale started to eat him. <laughs> Which one? Why did he start to sink? Because A, he had eaten rocks for lunch. B, because he started to doubt Jesus. C, because he was afraid. And D, because a whale started to eat him. Do y'all know this answer? How many think you know the answer? We know the answer. We always know the answer. Well, you've gotten some wrong. Well, we knew. <laughs> we knew. We were just, we were just, you know. Not true. False. Fake news. Mm -hmm. We don't. Fake. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? And the answer is, let me have David ready. Put it up there. B. What? He started. Uh, to ah, B. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. What did you guys I thought, I thought he rocks. had some delicious rocks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, depending wow. on what rock you eat, they can be yummy. Yeah. But that's not what he 
no. we started it you now. You should not right? tell our children right. the Good rocks job, are Mr. Yummy. Ray. We get three zonks. Here we go. Three zonks. 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 Yes. All right. Zonks, zonks, goose. Boy, lots of zonks. You guys eat weird food then if you don't yeah. eat rocks. Well, we, I'm glad we eat weird food. We eat bananas okay. and grapes. Is that why you have fake <laughs> told him to go uh, wash in the pool of Siloam. What was it? Two things, so there's two answers here, okay? Two answers. This is pretty cool. I like this one. Okay, give me five seconds. I'm gonna make this one look pretty. Okay, and three, two, one. Let's see what the answer is, Mr. David. Spit! Oh it. yeah, let's go. Spit, what squids. Is it? What? I said squids. Did he put squids on uh, his eyes? Yeah, Mr. well, he, he grinded them up. I could have had Oh no! I, he grinded oh, no. up the squids. Oh, that's disgusting. Mr. Ray, what is it? Can I say? the answers to a lot of those questions. Hey, listen, we're going to talk today about BGMC. All week long, we've been listening to missionaries, real life missionaries, and how kids can make a difference in their giving to them. And you know what? We're going to show a little video in a minute, but I want your heart to be open because we're going to talk to you today about where do missionaries come from? And could you be one maybe? You see, God has given us all a calling to do something. Some of us may go on the mission field. Some of us may stay and help missionaries. So let's just open our heart right now and let's see where do missionaries come from. Where do missionaries come from? We have missionaries all over the world who spend their lives helping people know about Jesus. They're in Africa, Asia, Latin America, they're everywhere. We also have missionaries in European countries like France, Germany, and Holland. Most missionaries have to learn a new language so they can talk to the people in the countries they go to. Some missionaries go to faraway cold places like Russia, Mongolia, and Alaska. Or to beautiful warm islands like Fiji or Tonga. But where do missionaries come from? Most missionaries were kids just like you who listened to great stories of missionaries helping needy people around the world. Then God planted a seed of missions deep down in their hearts. That seed was a seed of compassion or caring. As these boys and girls got older, they learned more and more about missions. As they learned more about missions, the seed grew and grew. It grew into a heart of caring for people around the world. Then, God asked them if they would be willing to leave their home and spend their lives as missionaries. 
This is their missionary calling. It's the moment God says, will you go? And the missionary says, yes, I'll go. Sometimes they'll know the place they'll go to because God tells them. He may have said Argentina, Cambodia, or Tanzania. Other times missionaries go where the need is the biggest. Once somebody decides to be a missionary, they have to get ready. They study and learn a whole lot about the Bible. They also start doing some kind of ministry, like in a church. Then the day comes when they begin to itinerate. I know, big word, huh? It just means they travel from church to church, asking people to pray for them and support them with money. Soon it's time for them to travel to the country God has called them to. Usually, they travel by plane to a place God needs them to tell people about Jesus. Some of them start schools, orphanages, or plant churches. Sometimes, they feed people and provide clean water. But always, they tell people that Jesus died for their sin. Some kids grow up praying and giving to help our missionaries. Other kids not only pray and give, but they hear God's call and they go as missionaries somewhere in the world. So I guess we could say that, well, you are where missionaries come from. So what do you think? Yeah, you guys are where missionaries come from. Like I said, maybe you won't be called to the field, but we've all been called to do something for the kingdom of God, okay? And here's what I want you to think about today. What can you do? Can you give some? Can you pray some? Can you do something for Jesus? Yes, you can. You can. You say, Masanya, I'm just a little kid. But you know what? We have raised up missionaries in our kids' church. We have raised up pastors in our kids' church. And God has a calling for you. Maybe it's to work and send missionaries, or maybe it's to go. But God is asking you to have an open heart and willing to do what he wants you to do with your life. Let's pray together and let's have our heart open and say, Jesus, talk to me. Jesus, I thank you for these kids. I thank you for today. Lord, I thank you that we can learn and memorize your word and know your lessons. But God, we could also be called to be the ones that carry that message. So Lord, we give our lives to you. We just say, here I am, I, Jesus. Would you do what you want to do in my life? We want to follow you, and we want to be led by you because we love you. Thank you, Jesus. All right. You guys have a great week. And don't forget, let missions always be on your heart because there's always somebody that needs to know about Jesus. Bye, guys. Have a great week.